Hey, I would like to talk to you about personal protection. Uh, today we live in a world that is more dangerous than it's ever been, a world that is full of crime, uh, terror, and violence. And we never know what we're going to face whenever we walk out our front door. So I think we need to be prepared. Uh, we need to protect ourselves for any danger that may present itself. Um, some of you may say uh, guns, knives, or uh, physical strength will provide this protection. Uh, some of you, however, argue the legality of gun ownership or you don't like carrying around a knife or you sure as heck don't like to work out. So um, what is the solution? Well, I think there's a simple, effective, and a natural solution, and that is bears. As in using bears as a means of personal protection as companion animals to protect us from any danger that presents itself. You say why? Well, I say why not? The American Constitution and the Bill of Rights says we have the right to bear arms. My interpretation of this is to use a literal set of bear arms to protect myself and my American freedom. Because bears, oops. Because bears are one of Mother Nature's most majestic and respected animals. They have no natural enemies, and they have strengths and abilities that outmatch any human being and most other animals. So I say, why not harness the power of a bear and use it to our advantage? Uh, but you say, um, you know, bears are wild and dangerous animals. There's no way we can train a bear to protect <coughs> a human being. But I'll tell you this. Uh, we can train dogs to lead the blind and sometimes other animals. Uh, we can train uh, chimps, apes, and other sort of primates to communicate through sign language. Uh, we can even train cute little squirrels to run behind jet skis on remote control <laughs> boats. So I think as intelligent as bears are, they are perfectly capable of being trained to protect a human being. Um, with that being said, a bear can uh, provide you a wide range of protection and can be seen as a, an active means but a preventative measure as well. Uh, for example, a bear's uh, heightened sense of smell can detect gas leaks or chemical leaks in your home that may uh, put you in danger. Uh, they can also protect you from uh, criminals, um, terrorists, <laughs> Uh, crazy ex-girlfriends, uh -huh. we all have a few of those. But most of all, your companion bear will protect you from other undomesticated bears that may be roaming around <laughs> in your neighborhood, right here in the water. These are real threats, people, real threats. Uh, with that being said, uh, different bears have different adaptations that give, uh, give them a unique uh, set of abilities and skills. Uh, for example, a grizzly bear. They have sheer strength and intimidation. I mean, nobody is going to mess with you if you got a grizzly bear rolling around with you. So, uh, and then you have black bears. Uh, they are less aggressive than grizzlies and are actually known for uh, their docility. Uh, they have excellent people skills and are great in resolving interpersonal disputes. Polar um, <laughs> uh, bears, uh, they have great camouflage during the wintry months and they are excellent swimmers as well. Uh, but then you have your panda bears, who are legendary for their kung fu and ninja skills, as uh, noted in Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2. So, um, with that being said, they also, there are also uh, several uh, economical and um, environmental advantages to having your own bear. Uh, this, this becomes a common practice. It will increase the need for uh, bear trainers, thus increasing American jobs. Uh, this may become an international industry, uh, boosting eternal revenue, strengthening uh, free enterprise, and overall uh, strengthening the American economy. Uh, but most of all, you can use your bear as a means of transportation. That's right. You can ride your own personal bear to worker class and save money on the amount of gas that you buy. And if you get your friends involved, uh, you can uh, bear pull, if you will, and uh, your friends can ride, uh, ride your bear. Uh, not only save the amount of gas that they use, but limit the amount of carbon emissions being pumped into the environment and uh, lessen the effects of global warming. So, as you can see, there are many uh, benefits and advantages to having your own bear, but uh, there are several uh, disadvantages as well. Uh, for example, 
feeding your bear. Uh, an average bear requires around 10 to 50 pounds of food a day, uh, ranging from grains, forages, and all kinds of meats. Uh, grizzly bears, uh, they prefer a diet of river salmon. Uh, polar bears have a taste for uh, seal. And as you can see, uh, panda bears have a strict diet of bamboo. And then there is the more obvious disadvantage of having a companion bear is that you scare everyone shitless that you have a live bear in your public. So, <laughs> but I believe uh, the disadvantages do not outweigh the advantages a bear can bring. Um, because, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, we live in a dangerous world. So I think to combat this, we need to be dangerous ourselves. We need bears, and I think that they are worth whatever cost that they bring. That they may bring. Because um, our bears can become the new form of homeland security, uh, protecting us from both foreign and domestic threats. And I see bears as a symbol of hope and peace for the future, uh, advocating the protection not only for individuals, but American freedom as well. So I urge you to consider the possibilities. I urge you to consider having a bear of your own. And thank you. God bless America. <laughs>